is ageism a real thing? Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brienne. You know, I got to thinking about ageism. Ageism is kind of like a discrimination against people as they begin to age in the world or age in their own life. And I got to thinking about it. And, you know, as I get older, I am confronted with what I consider, what maybe a lot of people would consider ageism. Now, even though I look younger in person, if you met me, people can think I'm much younger than what I am because I'm very active and I'm out there and I'm about and I go to college at my age, pushing 70. And, um, and yet, I still come across the ageism. And it's more of a technical thing than it is in how people treat me. And um, I'll give you one example. I went for my yearly physical. And when I got there, I was given some paperwork to fill out. And what I was to learn is that um, the way the system works, when you pass 65 yearly, they need to do a cognitive test meaning they need to test you at some level to see if you're all there. And of course I passed with flying colors, but I was taken back when I was handed those papers and I questioned those papers. And you know, they explained to me that it's just part of the protocol now um, that when you're 65 or older, that they want to know your cognitive ability, if you're able to take care of yourself, if you're falling down, if you have um, handrails in your shower, um, do, you have, do you live with somebody? I mean, it's pretty invasive. And these questions were never asked prior to being 65. And so pushing 70, that was the first time I had ever been confronted with a questionnaire like that. And I filled it out and I understood why, and it's just part of the system now. And yet, is it right? Is it right? Is it right to question somebody older and their cognit cognitive ability versus someone younger? How do we know that all younger people have the same cognitive ability that maybe an older person has? Maybe an older person may have more cognitive ability or maybe one person over here may have more cognitive ability than another person. So it's just assuming about an age group that in my age group that we're at a higher risk for cognitive issues. And you know, I didn't like that. I didn't like that. And I know one friend who was taken to the ER and she looks much younger than what she is. And, um, and she's very youthful. I mean, she's, you know, professional and, and um, works out every day and just, you know, as quick as anyone as a 25 year old. Anyhow, she's over the, she's pretty much close to 70. So when she was taken to the hospital, you know, they radio ahead, you know, the age group that that person is in. And she said suddenly there was a difference in the tone of voice over the, you know, the radio um, in regards to the person who was coming in, which was her. Instead of being like, say, someone 25 coming in, she was almost considered elderly. Now, do I look elderly? Okay. And I most certainly don't think or act elderly. And yet, when you get to a certain age, all of a sudden you get put in this category. And I can tell you personally, I don't like it. And probably if, you know, I could easily say, easily say that I'm 10 years younger than what I am, but because it's down there, you know, on paper, you know, you really don't want to say you're 10 years or 20 years younger than what you are. And yet, it made me think about that. It made me think, you know, do you really want to tell your age? Do I really want to say I'm pushing 70? You know, because, well, there's something called ageism. Is it real? I personally think it is very, very real from what I'm seeing. And, you know, I'm youthful. I'm young acting. I go to college. I'm, you know, very bright, I'm very alert, I work out, you know, I get up in the morning and I go for a run, walk, or a waddle, five miles every day, seven days a week. I take great care of my health, I'm in great shape. 
and I take no medicines to speak of and you know maybe I'll take some supplements and yet I you know I I don't ever consider myself in that group of you know do they need to test me for cognitive to see how I'm doing you know is it, is it right to assume anything about any group of people including older people I meet people at the gym that their minds are so quick and they're in their 90s and they get around great their eyesight you know they probably had surgery on their eyes or whatever but their eyesight is great their mind is great they get around great they think great they speak great you know and they're in their 90s but if you didn't know them and, and suddenly someone said hey they're 95 years old you get this picture in your mind of what they're like so if someone says someone's 70 years old what picture do you get do you get a picture of me at 70 or do you get a picture of somebody kind of all bent over sitting in a rocking chair more than likely you get an idea of somebody probably sitting around not doing a whole lot and that's just not the situation for many many people in my age group and beyond so is there such a thing as ageism I truly believe that there is from my house to yours may God bless you I hope you like share subscribe and I hope to talk to you soon again bye bye